WSI Models kits for the Luffing Jib for the Liebherr LTM 1500 mobile crane first appeared at the end of 2014. Fast forward to 2021 and we now have this revised version. There's nothing different on the box other than a different number and this version of the model is in the white colour scheme. So with the pleasantries over let's get on and open the box. What we find inside is what we usually find, and that's a pair of expanded polystyrene trays. And as you can also see, there's a manual, which we will look at in a moment. The two trays are factory sealed, so there's a lot of careful knife cutting required. Once we separate the two halves, you can see there are lots of parts and they are tightly packed. But they are also very nicely packed, with each part individually wrapped with soft paper. Let's move on and take a look at the manual, which has been revised from the earlier version of the model. It starts with a proper contents list, and there's also a full description of all of the parts. It then shows you a picture of the configuration that the manual is focused on, and then it takes you step by step into building up the various components. The configuration shown is for a luffing jib, and the parts in the box, such as the guy rods, are already assembled to match this configuration. The kit is excellent because it contains different TY guying adapters and the manual is a big improvement because it also shows the various configurations that are possible. And there are very many of them. The only thing that would have been nice is a table of guy rod connections to match each of the different configurations. For the assembly we'll just start with a short fixed jib and this uses only four of the jib sections. The connections are made using tiny brass nuts and bolts and two tools are included to help you make those connections. The bolt goes in one tool and a nut in the other, although in practice you need to load two nuts because of the depth of the holder. After that we line up the eyelets of the parts we need to connect and then tighten up the nuts and bolts without doing it too tight. The fit of the parts is generally very good. And here we have the assembled fixed fly jib. One slight difference on this version is that we need to insert a long screw just where it's shown. And that's because there was a rivet installed previously. And the reason you need that bolt is so you can hook on the guide wheel assembly. Now we can attach the jib to the boom head. But on the review model it was necessary to scrape out the paint on the jib adapter connectors. And that's because the bolts were a very tight fit. With that done we use the giant hand cranes to hold the jib onto the boom head and then we slide in the bolts. This resembles the bolts used on the real crane and it forms a decent connection. With that done we can reeve on the hook and then raise the boom. One thing that this kit lets you do is to form some mini dioramas so you can display the crane being assembled on site. Here we're in the process of setting up a luffing fly jib. We've attached the telescopic boom extension and here you can see a pre-assembled luffing fly jib. And in fact before we complete the assembly I will add in another intermediate jib section. Attaching the luffing fly jib is just like any other connection. So here we offer it up and insert the bolts before we add the nuts. There is some more detailing to add and that is the handrails which go on to one of the moving mast sections. These slot into holes but you might need to use a bit of plastic putty if the fit is loose. So here we're trying to replicate the assembly as if it was being carried out on the real crane. If a big jib is being added the crane can't lift it fully stretched out. So a dolly is used at the jib head. And this takes in the weight of the jib while it's pulled in close enough to the crane. Once the boom is up, the radius is reduced and then the jib can be lifted. One amendment made out of the box was to install a couple of long bolts. And that's so these get properly caught when the jib is lowered. And then all the angles and stresses are kept correct. Building the model like this though is difficult if you want to extend the boom. 
And that's because you've got so many things to extend at the same time. It is all automated on the real crane. But on the model you have to slacken off ropes and keep an eye on everything. And it's probably easier to add the fly jib with the telescopic boom extension set first. Let's have a look at some of the detailing and it's really good. A ladder is modelled and there's very fine mesh walkways. And the spooling drum is very good with hydraulic hose detailing. This kit includes the hydraulic version of the TF adapter and it's a high quality nicely made part. Moving on to one of the jib head sections. And first off the brass connecting bolts probably would have looked better black. But there is fine detail in the casting of the section. And the jib head is very good with metal pulleys and leap hair signs. The big change in this version is that the intermediate sections are made of aluminium and not plastic. So they are strong and they're also painted. And that means there's no colour difference between the sections unlike the previous plastic parts. Included in the kit are the various types of TY guying adapters. And again these are all metal parts and they are very nice. Also included are the intermediate guy rod supports for very long jibs. And these are interesting because they're actually made of springy material, rather than the fixed length cables that you might expect. Also included is a short length jib head. And interestingly, there's also an additional boom nose. And this can be fitted to either jib head section. That would allow you to run two hooks if you want. And you can do that because there is an extra winch in the luffing gear assembly. Another nice detail in the telescopic boom extension is the hydraulic cable. And the luffing gear is detailed with more fine mesh walkways. And again all of the pulleys are metal. The high quality also continues because all of the guy rods are also made of metal. And finally there is the dolly which is also detailed with wheel chocks. Another flexibility of a kit like this is that many of the parts can be used as transport loads. And of course if you've got an LTM 1500 crane, you can set up a display of the crane and various support trucks. An interesting part of the kit is the hydraulically adjustable adapter and it works by using an allen key in the grub screws in the rams. It works well so you can get an adjustable angle on a fixed fly jib. You can operate the luffing jib using the winch on the crane, although because of the somewhat strange reversed brake action of the winch, it is fiddly to operate. This jib kit is designed for the LTM 1500 crane. But one question is, does it fit the LTM 1750 crane? And the answer is, yes, it is a good fit on the boom head. The real jib for the LTM 1750 does have some differences from the LTM 1500 jib. But if you're happy to look past that, it's a usable kit. This revised version of the fly jib is a terrific kit. The all metal sections means it looks great and it's highly detailed and very flexible in the configurations you can build. If you want you could build a model around 3 meters high. So if you have the LTM 1500 crane this revised kit is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> 